My name is Simon Brightwell, and I want to give an overview of the role of wireless remote condition monitoring in mitigating the risk of slope failure affecting railway earthworks. So this is one of a, a series of explainer videos, so I'd urge you to look out for others covering rail track and, and structures. But for today, I'm going to be focusing on railway embankments and railway cuttings. And I'm going to do that because I think there are a number of interesting challenges in this area. Firstly, the age of many of these assets uh, makes them a challenging asset to look after. Most of them in the UK and many other parts of the world are, are more than 130 years old. They predate uh, modern geotechnical standards by, by many decades and they are highly variable. They comprise slopes of many different shapes and angles, um, many different types of geology. Uh, some have drainage, some don't. Uh, records are patchy and leave scope for guesswork. And their location presents challenges in that many are at rural, distant locations away from your team, um, and others are in complicated urban environments where private land access uh, restrictions make it difficult to, to make repeated visits to the site. They are becoming increasingly vulnerable and at risk as a result of climate change. There are prolonged periods of heavy rain in, in many parts of the world um, on an increasingly frequent basis now. And for a combination of those reasons, um, I think there is a need for tools to help to manage the challenges and wireless monitoring is one of those tools. So let's look at the anatomy of a wireless slope monitoring system and its five main elements. Firstly, there are tilt sensors on stakes detecting movement to sub millimeter precision, sending data in a series of hops on towards a gateway, the little gray box in the right hand corner. And just below that little gray box, uh, there is a cellular camera, which gives us eyes on the site. And in turn, below that, we have a solar panel that powers the camera and the gateway. Now, the fifth element, an item that is invisible normally, but visible here, thanks to the pink lines, is the flat mesh radio communications platform. Now, flat mesh has been developed and consistently improved over a period of about 15 years. It uses a relatively high frequency part of the bandwidth, 2.4 gigahertz, and it brings a number of advantages. It allows us to build a degree of intelligence into the tilt sensor nodes such that they can self configure once we install them. They can self heal if one is damaged. They can last a, <laughs> an astonishingly long time, 10 to 15 years, uh, uh, reporting every 30 minutes. But rather cunningly, they can wake up and send much more frequent updates if they detect movement. So this put together the camera, the gateway, the tilt sensors, the solar panel and the software is called InfraGuard. So I'd like to tell you a little bit more about InfraGuard and the, the role that it can play. A key element within InfraGuard is the tilt sensor itself and the ability to operate for prolonged periods of time in a mode that we call always poised. It's a low power consumption mode, sending data on a scheduled basis, um, but waking up and responding in the event of movement. And that movement, if it occurs to a degree of greater than one degree per second of tilt, will trigger the system to, uh, to wake up and, and, and respond. Systems that are reliant on scheduled sampling are not able to do this. So if we look at this in action in a little animation, uh, we can see that the uh, situation where there is no movement is this uh, always poised mode. So to achieve the long life performance, it consumes very little power. The edge hub gateway collates data and relays it periodically via the cellular network to the cloud. <clears throat> in stage two, if 
a tilt sensor detects a, a relatively small degree of movement, an individual tilt sensor, um, then an alert will be raised, the gateway will be woken up and stakeholders will be alerted. A photograph will be taken um, and then if we move up a stage to level three, uh, we get a more dramatic event, um, something of higher magnitude affecting multiple um, tilt sensors, then all of the tilt sensors in the neighborhood will be put into this high frequency reporting basis and the camera will send more photographs. So we've got this responsive system that is able to deal with uh, different types of conditions on site, yet still perform over a prolonged period of time. So InfraGuard not only tells you what is happening, it shows you, and you can see some of the imagery here, um, the photographs on the left taken in the daytime and at night uh, on the right hand side mean that users get fewer false alarms, which improves the trust and the confidence in the system. Now, our users have checked out alerts for various reasons, including branches falling on tilt sensors, uh, deer with itchy backsides, using them as a scratch post, and even errant car drivers who've accidentally strayed onto the railway embankment. But if there is a real slope failure problem, uh, the system will tell you. And it will tell you in a reasonably sophisticated way. The system is flexible enough to be built into your management system with different levels of alert and different levels of response in terms of what you do with the data. So Network Rail, for example, have configured the system such that their highest level of alert is transmitted not just to their geotechnical teams, but also to their signalers, so that measures such as speed restrictions or, or line closures even can be quickly put in place to protect the infrastructure and the people who use it. So let's look at an example. Um, this is a site from a particularly challenging location to the south of London, Wadhurst in Kent. It's a steep slope above a, a tunnel portal. Um, and you're looking here at a 12 hour view from a single tilt sensor. Now, a spike is obvious in this data around about 2 a.m. And these things tend to happen in the middle of the night rather annoyingly. Um, and that was caused by a um, prolonged period of rainfall causing a sudden loss of stability on the slope, slope and the development of a slip. If we go to look at the data a little bit further back from then, I think it becomes interesting because not only is the InfraGuard system able to wake up and respond and alert stakeholders to that sudden movement, but it's also able to detect these incremental steps in the data set. So around about five days before that uh, event, uh, a series of smaller steps in rotational movement of the slope were detected, um, could be seen in the data. So it's this combination of incremental, gradual movement as well as sudden event detection. And that's what it looks like in real life from an aerial view of around about 60 tons of earth slipping down a steep slope towards the track. The system is in use quite extensively now in, in Europe and in Asia and North America, but most extensively in the UK, where over 20,000 sensors are installed um, with 700 cameras, um, over 40 kilometers of track is now protected using this type of system. So I hope you found it interesting. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, take a look at our website. There are ways of getting in touch with us with the various forms there. Uh, or you can simply drop us an email to info at We look forward to hearing from you.